What happens when you put good people in a bad place? That's exactly what Philip Zimbardo tried to answer in the 1971 Stanford prison experiments. He put out an ad in the newspaper for a psychological study on prison life and got 24 college aged participants. He then told them that they need to play either a guard or a prisoner for the next two weeks and almost all of them preferred to play a prisoner because they said they may get arrested at some point so could relate to that role more. Regardless, they were split into half guards, half prisoners and on the first day of the experiment, they couldn't get into it. They were telling each other to stop giggling and be serious. But as the days went on, the guards became more cruel, even using a cupboard as a makeshift solitary confinement. One guard, Dave Eshelman, who's the son of an engineering professor, wanted to get more creative with the punishments day by day and even eventually wanted the prisoners to strip as a punishment. There were no objections from the other guards. They had to stop the study early at just six days because of how cruel it was getting. The study's findings have been questioned, but Zimbardo concluded